Immutable infrastructure is an important but confusing concept for today's developers and operators. What it means is, is that instead of taking a server or an instance and patching it and changing it as we get new updates, we're literally destroying it and bringing a, fr a fresh new instance, server, virtual machine in to replace it. In physical infrastructure, that means that we don't actually install anything permanent on the hard disk, except maybe our data, the operating system just runs in memory. So if the machine is turned off or rebooted, we have to install a whole new operating system. In clouds, that means that we don't uh, patch VMs, we literally delete them, bring in new VMs. That's a really important paradigm because it means that we are much more certain of what we deploy. It means we can change things much faster, and it also means that we don't have to worry as much about recreating infrastructure that we've built because uh, we're always recreating infrastructure that we've built. That's really good from a security posture, it's really good from uh, ability to deploy, and it's really good from being able to test things as a unit. So if you want to think about immutable infrastructure as deploying a full unit, it's a little bit scary, it means the code and the operating system and the deployment infrastructure, all those things are created as a single unit, it's immutable, meaning we don't change it, and then we deploy that unit all together. And then we want to do it very quickly. So in an immutable infrastructure environment, we don't leave things up for weeks or months, or years even, like we used to do in traditional IT. We're actually trying to move things through very quickly. So a server that's been running for a week, that would be surprising. We actually want to keep things moving much more fluidly and then build software infrastructure around that to help maintain, support, and deliver these immutable artifacts through our pipeline into production.